is going to walk us through about nine detailed slides. Uh, probably should take maybe 10 or 12 minutes. We would like to have Art go through the slides, jot down any questions you may have, because we'd like to reserve most of the time for questions and answers. So Art will move through the slides and then uh, we'll open it up. We expect, this is the second of what we expect to be many meetings going forward. <coughs> a lot of things have yet to be resolved. We have a very good framework, but many details will yet have to be worked out. Uh, just for reference over here, uh, on my right, uh, we have some blow-ups of the existing floor plans. So you'll be able to do some comparisons between what's here and what we're going to be showing you. So with that, our Justice, it's all yours. Thanks, Tom. Uh, Good. Tom mentioned the nine slides. And the genius of all this with the architect is that all the ideas that have been sifted out for a year, reduced, figured out how to respond to all the things about how to make our facility more efficient, more attractive, <coughs> and more for me to all the users of this facility, and it's all down on nine slides. Now, there's be some introductory uh, slides that orient everybody, but um, you, have to re you have to accomplish two things here today. First of all, no one should leave without knowing what the scope of the work is. Uh, and secondly, uh, you should know why, why, why the scope is there. What is it accomplishing for the guidelines of making us more efficient and uh, welcoming to all the users? Uh, so the committee's pitching, but you've got to catch. <laughs> <laughs> and if everybody can leave understanding those two, two points, uh, everybody gets a gold star. <laughs> but if you don't, the committee's still around. And, uh, and as Tom said, there's going to be many more to be walkthroughs, there'll be a number of things coming up for communication purposes. I just um, want to be real clear that the way the slides are laid out, there'll be a visual that highlights a certain part of our property. And that, that's what we're going to talk about in terms of what the architecture of the changes would be. And there'll be a cost associated with that. So that you'll see each of the project areas what the cost associated would be, and there'll be a summary at the end. But uh, this will be the first one to say, now we're going to talk about this part. All right, so I'll done here. Okay, yep, yeah, this is one of the orientation slides. What is not, this is a terrible slide, right? It's the worst one, it's the least one, but it's the best, it's the best that, uh, that, that we had at the, at the time. Um, the building, our church building, is here. This is the port to share, and then the lawn out here. Next slide. So we're talking about the east side of the building. Okay. This is the, the entry into the west side of the building, and the steps going up into the first floor, and the, the steps going down here to the to the lower level. The architect has proposed a new entrance that would enlarge the current lobby uh, about double. And uh, it, could, it could be, uh, he's suggesting that it be a glass enclosure. And uh, so that that position is for, and, and that scope of work is for making us more welcoming, giving us some more room down at the lower level, and. Uh, and, and, and using, brightening up this portico share. If it's glass, it'll be lit. You'd be able to see uh, that it is an entrance from the, the light and from the inside. Uh, this is the, the support for the uh, portico share here, the outside support of the west support. And this sidewalk would be, would be widened. And the, the trees across here, that or the uh, arborvitae hedge, that's grown for, for 28 years. Uh, pretty tall. It forms a barrier to the to, to our entrance and the welcoming identification. This 
slide is mostly about, and the scope of work is about identification of Redeemer to Blaine and first, as you go down first. These are being moved, these areas are being re-landscaped. And uh, next slide. And the other part uh, on, on the identification of the side of the building. Uh, when you leave today, note, note that the, the, the west side of the nave here is a huge brick facade with no, no identification, no ornamentation. And this feature here takes Redeemer's logo, which you see here on our, uh, on our uh, stationery, and duplicate it here on this big facade that's recognizable from, this space is recognizable from First and Blaine. It identifies us as a Christian Luther church. This entrance here would, would, would be better lit and, and uh, more welcoming as you're coming in <coughs> from Boy. I just trying to understand the budget there. For, is that for everything that you just talked about in the last two slides? Thanks for, uh, for I would have gone by that. Yes, the budget for doing the work here, the landscaping, and the identification. Where, where is the symbol going to be? This, this symbol would, would be on the brick side. Yeah, this is like a two story. Yeah. In the back, that's, that's the brick between the roof. Okay, so it goes almost up to the roof. Okay, next. The next area is, is this floor. This is the west entrance, stairs going up, and the pastor's office. And of course, that's the east end. So we're just talking about the west end, entrance to the west end area of where we're having coffee right now, in that area that we're concentrating on. As you come up the steps, this is where the coffee area is today, uh, library down in here, and this has been converted so that as you come into the church, you're led, you're led through with no, no congestion or anything for uh, coffee or whatever it is. This is an area where socialization it can take place. Uh, on a more meaningful uh, and, and more intimate basis, and also provide an area for during the week for youth gathering, gatherings, of people coming home from from the junior high school if they want to stop in here and, and uh, talk about their science project with their group or whatever it is. This will, this is the lounge, coffee area. It, it will have the, the cabinets in here. Uh, it can be closed off. This is a, a, an area where. It, where the uh, sliding doors can, can close us off for a meeting. Another side, sliding door here where uh, it can be opened up for a larger socialization area. We also will have our books in here, the library. So it's a dual purpose area, making it making that whole area flexible for use of, of the constituent of our constituents. The idea of widening this corridor here at this bend is so that we have a visual that takes us all the way into the this lip corridor out here or the skylight corridor uh, so people know where the nave is and the idea here is to have a feature one feature would be a water wall that would that would have sound and visual effect to draw people into worship into that area the office stays pretty much the same, except this this area here is, is cut off in order to, to widen this area for flow. Uh, office manager, all our plumbing, the restrooms. The 
the story stays the same, that, and, and the, we have power panels and things, and so we're, we're staying away from any costs of revising this area. The family bathroom is, is added uh, for anybody that needs assistance in, in toileting, whether, whoever it is, family members, <coughs> children, with, with whomever, help them. It's also handicapped. Uh, the, uh, Restrooms are approved. Uh, there's another commode added in the men's room. Uh, there's only one in there now. And both of these uh, will qualify for uh, handicapped uh, according to the Americans Disability Act. Banner storage moves over on this side of the, of the, uh, of the corridor in order to make room for the uh, additional plumbing fixtures. Yeah, yeah, and, this, and to do all that, pretty close to half a million dollars, four hundred forty thousand. We're going to talk about the numbers. These are budget numbers, and as you can tell, these particular areas, uh, you know, this is not a finished plan at this point. Uh, so we'll ask questions. Yes, yeah, going through, Tom. We're going to ask some questions going through. It's going. Well, Whatever you if we say. can, we'd like to get through, the, get through, please. It's really going to be much more efficient uh, if we could. Right. The next area that, and this is this is going to be a, a lot tougher one. I hate to tell you that, but uh, there are more slides, and the visualization of what's going on here is is a little bit tougher. So, so here we go. This is the nave. This is our current narthex, and it's and it's in, in this area uh, that, that we're going to really concentrate. We're sitting in this room right here now, and that's the uh, this is our 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 congested area for flow, both uh, from people coming out of the nave to the coffee and that type of thing. So all that's being addressed in here. Right. We're calling this the east stair tower and it's here that we have the narthex and the entrance to the to, from the outside and the steps down this down to a this lower level right now you can see the architect has x those stairs out because the level of the the slab now and, and it's all going to be raised up to the level as you walk out of the narthex you walk out to a flat surface uh, the ramp from Park Avenue out here next to the stairs, the stairs that have to be longer, they'll add three or four more steps, uh, and the slab raises about up to your hill. Uh, up to about the top of these knee walls out here is where the new slab's going to be. So it comes up quite a bit. The ramp will come up to that slab and you'll go into the nave. Uh, in the narthex on the level. Adjacent to that is where we're going to be talking about all this work that's going to be going on. The ramp is also part of this, and the slab, of course, but the raised slab. This is the area where we where the narrow stairway goes down to the to the lower level. Uh, the big deal part about this is that this is now a, a new metal stair up to all specifications for fire or a, for a, uh, to serve as a, a reference and to our, our ref, a place of refuge uh, and need all the new fire codes that are, are uh, prevalent. There will be an entrance here from the, from the uh, narthex, just like we have not that they're going down now, but to be replaced with this total three-story staircase. You go down to the basement, the lower level, or you can go up to the balcony. The added distance here provides a, a total width of, uh, here of about eight feet, which is just a little bit less than five feet now. So. There's a quite a quite a bit of difference in moving that moving the stairway out 
to the edge of, of the uh, existing stairs there for the, at the narthex. And that's all it's moving out, but it really is going to make a big difference here, or can make a big difference. Uh, leaving the nave into the narthex and going down to the, uh, on, a, on, a, on a new New steel stairway really improved communications down to the, so you, you're not after to want to go all the way down to the to the lot to the uh, west entrance. This will be a real improved entrance into the lower level, and of course the upper level, which is a tremendous amount of contact, uh, a tremendous amount of comments about getting to the balcony and. Uh, those two reasons, one of them going to the balcony and going to the lower level from, from, from the uh, worship area and uh, bringing everything up to uh, fire codes. It's a big deal. This is it. Okay, next, next, uh, next slide. Is that this is the lower level. That's a point of refuge for someone that is in a wheelchair and cannot, cannot climb stairs. And cannot really get down to the other end of the building where the lobby, where the uh, elevator is. Uh, and uh, we'll have to move a, uh, a sump pump area over, over to the right here. And uh, so this is, uh, this is a big construction issue. Uh, it's, a main, it's a main project, but really solves an awful lot of flow problems, safety problems, and, and access to all three. All, all three levels. This is a, a stab at the ARC. This is by far not going to be. Uh, this is the most valuable part of this because this is a, nothing more than a stairwell. There's an opportunity here. Architects put it, you know, like the green wall. I have no idea what the green wall is. <laughs> it's, up to, it's up to you to think that's what you're doing. But uh, it's a nice thought. I don't know how we take care of that and so on. But you can see the, the development. Of these. There's a lot of the great ideas here. But even I don't understand. I don't, I don't get that scope of work. But uh, maybe there will be a way of making this a green wall. Uh, but at any rate, it will be, it'll be, um, it'll be nice to look at. It, we will not, the attempt here is not to ruin the facade of the building, and it could easily be done because this is a square element with nothing more than a, than a, a stairwell, and uh, that's what architects are there for. They'll make this right. I know they will. But you can find how large it is. Show them where the door is. The, uh, you, can, you, can, you can show the door on this, where the door is. This yeah. is this, this is, this the is door. our present. So, but, but this is the door that people would go in on the stairwell. Right. Oh. This is the door. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's how tall it has to be to get to the balcony. Because we don't have 11 foot ceilings in the church. So in order to get all the way to the balcony, this would be quite high. And you can see how that's going to be right there. Okay, and, and to do that, the budget at this point is 480,000. <coughs> I think I'm standing right in front of you all the time. Okay, uh, this is the, an adjacent area. Uh, go back one time. Uh, this is the nave. Narthex is what we're going to talk about next. It, it's, in, it, it's, it's part of this whole thing. It has a budget of about $94,000. Uh, it's a little speculative in that the, the main cost of that is trying to raise the level of the narthex. This is the narthex inside currently. It has a low ceiling uh, and the light fixtures are on the surface and there's a lot of uh, things architecturally uh, and welcoming. It, it's, a, it's kind of a dark, dingy area right now. It can, there's a lot of things that can be done, but what the architect's idea uh, to just justify that kind of money is to really raise, raise that ceiling up and change the whole appearance of it. So that's the idea here. Mm -hmm. But now you can, so this kind of ties all together. 